In this video, I'm gonna take you through a simple one light studio setup for dramatic editorial portraits. My name is Pi, and I'm one of the founders of Lynn and Jersa Photography and slrlounge.com. We're teaming up with Adorama to bring you a new series of photography tutorials called Master Your Craft right here on Adorama TV. So let's dive in. What's up friends? My name is Pi. Welcome to Adorama TV. So look, I have here one of my favorite lighting setups. I thought we'd just jump into this. I wanna show you guys exactly how it works. It's really easy to pull off. I know this looks a little bit complicated, but I'm gonna explain how it works. I'm also gonna explain kind of some alternatives that also work. So first, what we have is up top, we're using a Profoto D2. Now you can use any 250, 500 watt second studio strobe, and it's firing into just a large umbrella. Now this is a kind of a, a parabolic, it's a, it's a large umbrella, but honestly, any umbrella is gonna work. What we want is an initial level of diffusion, and we're firing it straight down. Now you might think that we're gonna put our subject here, but we're not. We're actually bouncing it off of a white surface. And this is where you go, well, Pi, I don't have a studio set up and like white walls, right? So what you're gonna do is instead, you can use any color of background you'd like, but just shoot in an area where you have a relatively bright but neutral surface. And you might be going, what is that? Well, that could be your garage. So concrete is gonna work totally fine. As long as the like light gray concrete, sidewalk concrete, not like asphalt, dark black, it's not gonna reflect any light. But concrete's gonna reflect enough light back where at nighttime or you know in a place where you have, you can run up the ISO a little bit, you'll get enough light reflected. So what's happening is that this D2 is gonna fire down into the umbrella. It's gonna get diffused once. Then it hits the ground, it's gonna get diffused again. And it's kinda gonna create this nice little bouncing effect, right? Where it's gonna keep bouncing back and forth. And we're not gonna shoot our subject here. You'll notice we're actually gonna shoot on the other side. And this is where I'm using two V-flats. Now you can use anything you like to block the light, but what we're doing is creating a strip box, but without a strip box. And it's also gonna be incredibly soft. So let's go to this side. I'm gonna show you what's happening. That light's gonna bounce off and on this side, we're basically just creating this narrow strip of light. So if I'm standing or sitting kind of right in this light, there's a really great dramatic look and effect. But because that flash is gonna fire and bounce, we're also gonna get a bit of fill light. And you'll see this in just a moment. So you could use a strip box for this, but you're not gonna get the same level of diffusion. This is basically like natural light coming through curtains, but in cases where you don't have like soft natural light kind of coming through diffuse curtains and whatnot. So we've sort of created our own natural light strip box that gives us very soft, dramatic light. Now with this setup, I'm gonna go ahead and bring our subject in. Y'all know Kiara. I brought her down for another photo shoot. Kiara, say hi. We'll link her up. You guys can give her a follow. So look, Kiara's gonna stand in that light and we have different options here. And this is what's fun about this. The closer I get her to this light source, the more dramatic the shot's gonna be and the darker the background the, the shot is gonna be. The more I bring her towards this wall, the more we're gonna get bounce and the light's gonna be softer, so I have to power up the ISO and we're gonna get a, a brighter background. I don't know why I say power up, it's like it's a energy source, it's up. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is start right here and I might go into like a sitting pose. Let me grab my camera and let's get going. So for the camera, I'm using a Canon R5. I have the 28 to 70 F2 or 20 to 7, is it 20 to 7? Who knows, we'll, we'll link that up. Viet, you got me on that, right? You'll, you'll post the right thing, okay. Let's get our settings right. I'm gonna go ahead and drop to F2 because we're not gonna get tons of light coming through. Let's take a test shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this up a bit. We'll bring it up to about half power, okay? Now you see from that test shot, it's very, very bright. We're getting too much reflective light everywhere. So what I'm gonna do is actually just bring down the ISO and I can bring it down to, you have a couple different options. You either power down the flash or you can bring down your ISO, it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and bring the ISO down to 100. Okay, that looks much, much better. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have her go into kind of a low pose right here and she's gonna be right in that light and I'm gonna keep the angle of the chin kind of over toward this side. And you'll notice that you get this great Rembrandt lighting on your subject. Now Kiara, from that angle, I want you to kind of look down toward the ground over here. Yes, right there. 
I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And there we go, we get this really great editorial portrait. And once again, if I wanted to demonstrate, I'm gonna show you how you control the power of that light and kind of the, the ambient light, right? So right here, we get a really great look, but watch. If I bring Kiara towards this light, okay? Keep going a little bit closer. Now, from right here, Kiara, scoot back a tiny, tiny bit, like a couple inches. And side note, I have the modern light on. It helps a lot to be able to visualize exactly where that light is. Okay. Now, if I take the same shot with the same settings, notice that Kiara got a lot brighter. Compared to that prior shot, you'll notice that she's perfectly bright and the background is a lot darker. Now, if I go to the middle, let's go back to that middle spot. What I'm gonna do is bump the ISO up to 200. Scoot back a little bit, Kiara. I'll get that light right on you again. There you go. Bring the chin down right there, perfect. Okay. Now notice that compared to the last shot, the background got a stop brighter because it went up in the ISO because we're getting further from the light. Now, once again, if I go all the way to this side of the wall, I'm gonna bring the ISO up again. And you're gonna watch the background get brighter one more time. Chin this way a little bit. There you go, eyes down. Okay, we keep our subject the same brightness and the background is getting brighter with each incremental step. Now this is just the inverse square law. I don't wanna overcomplicate this. Look, the further from the light source, I either gotta power up the light or bring up my ISO. In this case, I'm controlling with ISO because I wanna show you how you can change the look of the background. So let's put up those three shots, darker background, bring the subject closer to the light. If you want somewhere in between, go in the middle. If you want a brighter background, bring your subject to the right side. Now with the light set up, I'm gonna go right to the middle spot. That was my favorite. Let's go ahead and take a few shots. So, Kiara, hop in the center. For final settings, we're right at 1 200th F2 and ISO 200 and dig those. Perfect, so simple, so easy. One of the things that I love to do here too, just a little bonus tip, is keep in mind that you don't need the subject to kind of always be directly lit by the light, right? So one of the things that I could do is have Kiara sit and let's say face that way. So face away from me and I want you to kind of rotate over the left shoulder toward me. Okay, and keep rotating a little bit more. So turn so your legs are almost going this way. There we go. Now kind of hug into the legs a bit. There. Kind of chin up a little bit and look to your left and straighten the, there you go, right there. So I think sometimes too often we kind of stay at this one particular angle where we're always shooting directly onto our models. I love shooting onto our subjects from different angles. I can change my angle, I can change her angle. I don't wanna to touch the light though. Oftentimes we kind of think, okay, now I need to adjust the lighting. No, just adjust your angle and you get lots of different looks with that same exact setup. In fact, if I actually have Kiara look directly to the left now, so kind of go to the left. Okay, bring the, yes, right there. Look down to your left shoulder. Down to the left shoulder. Right there, right there. I love those. So from this angle, we get this really nice profile that has beautiful lighting. Looks really cool. Okay, so before we close this out, I feel like we need to do like a, a grand finale. Let's do like a super strong editorial shot. You game? Yes. You guys are game for sure. Okay, look. This lens can shoot pretty wide, right? So I'm actually gonna widen this out. You want a wide angle lens for this. And what I'm gonna do is have Kiara squat into that light. And I want one of the legs to kind of come toward the camera. So she's gonna bring that leg towards the camera. I'm gonna go wide. And I wanna make sure the light's gonna land on her face. So right there, Kiara's gonna extend this left hand out. Yes, hold the hair with the other, that looks fantastic. And we're gonna get low and shoot with that wide angle to exaggerate the leg. And let's check this out. Boom. That is super cool. So we get this really cool exaggerated effect. All right, that's it for us now. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, you can help us out by of course subscribing to the channel. We have new amazing videos that are going up every day by different content creators here on Adorama TV. So if you want notifications, turn those on. 
Meantime, y'all can help me out by liking the video and commenting below. I actually read your comments. I get tons of ideas from them. So let me know your questions, what you think would be cool. We'll try and work those into future videos. And of course, give this lovely lady, Kiara, a follow if you would like. And you can also follow me if you'd like, at Pintyersa. We'll see you all next time. Peace.